Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you all how to add wind to objects like trees to make them uh, move to the environment. So this will actually help your game have more game feel to it and make it more cooler. So let's begin. For this you need two plugins. The first plugin is going to be Tag Editor. So I will give you a link for that. And the second plugin we need is not a plugin, but yeah, it is a plugin though. Um, and that is called the Wind Shake. So you need the Wind Shake and the Tag Editor. So once you have both of them, then we can continue. So first, you need a tree with multiple objects to make it look more cooler. So to show what I mean, I'm gonna go to the toolbox and get a good tree so this pine tree is okay even this pine tree is okay let's just keep it like this to see a side by side comparison on the details so okay let's add the sakura trees alright sakura alright cool so now um now that you have all the models you wanna add wind to what you gotta do is um go to toolbox my models and get the wind shake uh plugin so once you get it you can pretty much put it anywhere you want um, replicated storage is the place where it works well the most um, by the way the plugin got all the docs and every other things which may help you a bit more as you can see here he has some examples and everything I'll leave the link in the description for this page too so this is the default value which will be given for every trees um, now let's go into search script service, put a script, and in this uh, script we're gonna start by getting the windshake module. So to get that, we need replicator storage, and then we can get the windshake. Uh, require. Okay, so once you get it. You wanna have three variables. So as you know in Windshake there are three variables here. Just like that you need you need some variables like this. So I'm just gonna use this like that. And then you need to set the default uh setting cell so set default. Uh, settings so once you set the default settings like um, the wind direction the wind speed the wind power even in the dev volume it's like that and then you need to do this to make it run you need to put this line of code in it it's called init um, it's like emit just like that it's um, initing okay now you might wonder how to put the wind for this object specific objects so f this is where you need the tag editor so once you go to the plugins tab you will find a new thing called tag window open it up and you will get this window and you're gonna click on add new um, tag and then say wind shake make sure the capital letters and the simple letters are where it should be so W capital and S capital all the other simple and press enter then uh, this module will detect this uh, tag and use it so 
now you want to specify all the parts you want it to um, shake for the wind so I'm gonna go inside the uh, tree model and inside each is the leaves as you can see these are the parts for the leaves uh, yes and then um, select all the parts you want you want the wind to shake and select this so what that does is it just marks the tags it's like collection service it is the collection service and uh, even for this you can select all the leaves and click on wind shake so it will be applied even for this let's find all the leaves yeah leaves and wind shake so once you've done that um yeah it should work as you can see here as you can see here now the trees are shaking you can change the wind power and make it look more realistic this is the one which is actually nice because it has more leaves part for it uh, even this is okay yeah that's how you do it anyways yeah see you in the next video peace out